Hey guys, how's it going? I've used the Nikon LA20 over the past couple days. I'll give you guys my honest review on what I think of this extended point and zoom camera. So the LA20 is Nikon's entry level super point and zoom camera. It comes with a pop-up flash as you guys see there, a 30 times optical zoom fixed lens. And if we take a look around the actual camera, I'll give you some quick little features. You just saw where you plugged the micro USB. On the bottom is where the batteries as well as SD card go. And this is really going to be a make or break point for the camera in my opinion. If you love AA batteries, that versatility, you can always have them on you. But as I mentioned in my unboxing, you always need to have a set of batteries on you. And obviously if you keep this camera over a long period of time, the cost of batteries will obviously add up. When we turn on the actual camera, you're greeted with a 3-inch LCD screen on the back. You have a basic menu system. You can change a few filters, high contrast mono, high key, low key. But this really is focused on people that want to use that easy auto mode and have that capability of the extended zoom. And as I mentioned, it is 30 times optical zoom and you can really get close to your subjects with this fixed lens. Controls such as aperture and ISO need to be managed manually through the menu system and are a bit tricky to get to and definitely can't be managed on the fly. So this isn't really geared towards those pro-end photographers or the higher-end photographers. At 280 bucks, as I mentioned, it's an entry-level camera, more geared toward casual, intermediate sort of photographers that want the capabilities of this 30 times optical zoom lens with the easiness of just simply pressing the shutter release button to take a quick picture. Taking a look at the back of the camera with all the button features, we have the playback button, pretty standard stuff, scene select, as well as a toggle wheel. You can control exposure, flash, as well as uh, self timer. And as I mentioned, pretty basic features for this entry level camera. We have the trash button, of course, as well as the menu button. And from here, you can change the image mode, change the quality of the actual picture that you're taking. And you can also change the movie options, and this can record in 1080p, 30 frames per second. If you want to save some space, also it goes down to 720p. And lastly, you can change all the basic settings, such as time, language, and you can see the button that I'm pointing to now is the actual video recording button. But let me know what you guys think about the Nikon LA20 in the comments down below, and your overall thoughts of extended point and zoom cameras. I mean, I love the versatility of this lens. You can really pretend to be a paparazzi member, get super close to your subject. However, the picture quality isn't the greatest and it won't really compare to a DSLR. I'll let you guys decide that. At the end of this review, I have a few sample pics that I took around the house, as well as some video footage. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So we're outside right now testing the 1080p recording capabilities of the LA20. Freezing cold outside and I'll give you guys a quick super zoom to see how close I can actually get. And right now we're fully zoomed in at that 30 times optical zoom. You can be that creeper paparazzi guy. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below.